Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Medium Kim. Thank you for joining today. It's a pleasure to be with you. You know, the last week especially, we've had uh, some very trying times in humanity. It affects everybody on earth. Uh, the What we see, the heartbreak in the, con the very Haiti, Afghanistan, all over the world with the climate change. So I go to my friend, Mother Mary, and I ask her for some inspiration. And so that's what I've brought today for you. Also gonna talk a little bit about heart math, that's M-A-T-H. I'm gonna do the drawing at the end of the video, the drawing for the, for the book winner for The Last Breath. So first of all, let's see a uh, little inspiration, some inspirational words from Mother Mary. And I asked her, what do we need to know for humanity today? It is my honor to be helping humanity at this time of need. Great love is what is needed. Fill your hearts with love, love for the planet, the animals, love of friends, family, anything that feels like love to you. The loving heart is a sanctuary for peace and forgiveness. Fill your heart with love so that despair has no place to live. Send healing love to those in need. Haiti, Afghanistan. Allow love to overflow every cell. And as you do this, the vibration of love ripples out to the atmosphere, to the earth, sky, fields. There is loss now and hearts are broken. More than ever, your hearts need to be filled with love so that, so that it is felt worldwide. The most important thing you can do now is live with love in your heart. Let love be your guide. Love is the master, the very force of life. This is your power the power to bring goodness to the earth. I am with you in honor, serving humanity with the angels. We are all an army of love. Behind you, we support each other. We support you and you support us. Please call on us. It is a way that you support the light. In your calling us, we move forward in holding loving space. Allow now to be the time to come together. A way to love, unstoppable. There are too many love warriors now. Please guard your heart. You are precious, each one of you. You are precious, each one of you. So I hope that means something to you. I had a vision as well with this. I saw Archangel Michael. He was kind of sideways, but as, as I was working with Mary, he, was stand, he stood tall. And I also had another vision of the world, the earth, and I should have drawn it for you. Um, but the angels were surrounding the earth and to infinity, there were angels covering the earth, but there was one dark spot and it wasn't very big. And the angels on the edges of the dark spot had swords. And I saw that a few months ago and I saw it again. I saw that in January and I saw it again um, yesterday. So just know there was not, we, I know it seems amazingly almost unbearable, but please, I think that the message mainly is what the world needs now is love, sweet love. So then heart math. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, the heart math Institute. And it is a, a research, research Institute that, that um, researches how the heart, which is the biggest electromagnetic field in our body, bigger than the brain. It has like its own brain and it resonates and it can resonate with other people. And that's why when you send love that you help the world. 
it, there's, it would become more incoherent. So it's talking about the mind-heart coherence and how one heart can coherent with the other. I also believe we are incoherent with the earth and that's about the, the Schumann residence and that's a, a little different topic. But um, I just want you to know that love is the new, in, according to the Heart Institute, love is a new transformational intelligence. So really take that in. And I want to just also point out, I, I saw Danny's video on Sunday, Sunday with Spirit, and he talks about um, happiness versus guilt. You know, and um, I think it's a great video if you guys want to watch it, talking about how we can feel guilty for being happy because look at every, so many things going on in the world. But look at that. And Linda G also had a great video on Sunday about um, the world events right now. So I recommend that as well. And I think, um, anyway, that's it for right now, but I'm gonna do the drawing. And um, also just, here's a little fun thing. I have, I have a garden. First time I've had a garden in a few years, well, two years, I guess. But um, it's my first time in Texas <laughs> to have a garden. I've got my first squash, okay? It's a not very big squash. I had a baby squash and it died. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Got my base. I'm going to cook it tonight for dinner. So these little pleasures are fun. And also remind you guys, when we are so worried about, you know, all these events, we might forget about other an the animals that need healing too. And just remember, of course, elephants that need our healing. So, um, you know, uh, India, Africa, the Asia, Asia, where the elephants are. So um, they need our healing as well. Here we go with the drawing for the book, The Last Breath. It's a, I'm co-author in here and it's a wonderful heartwarming book. Um, and it's all about mediumship and stories about mediumship. So here we go, I'm gonna, got the name. Okay, Kansas Gin, Kansas Gin is the winner. So I'm gonna contact you in the, uh, the comment section. Okay, Kansas, congratulations. I'll send you the book uh, right away and sending you guys much love and blessings and thank you for being here today. Bye-bye.